Hey, it's Chris with The Real Estate Tomato. Um, in this video, I want to show you how you can frame in a third-party website, or I'm also going to use an example of a Google spreadsheet. I get the question a lot that our clients have uh, tables of data that they want to easily um, display within a post. So I think the best way of doing that is through Google Spreadsheets. So let's first uh, just show you how to frame in any third-party website into a post. And this works for pages as well. Uh, if you're in the WYSIWYG, uh, in the row of icons here that begin with the YouTube icon, you have this icon here that says easily embed an iframe. If you click on this, it will say please enter the URL which the, of the site you want to frame in. So just as an example, I'm going to use uh, Craigslist. Everybody's heard of that site. Below that field, it says dimensions. And this allows you to set the dimensions for uh, this frame. Uh, everybody's width, so the width of uh, the column that contains your content, um, everybody's site has a little bit different width to it. So you might have to play around with this number a little bit. Usually 500 on average it is probably a good width. Um, the template that I'm using I know though uses a width about 600. And then the second number here is height. Uh, currently by default it's sent to 1000. Again you can change this though and make it anything you want. And then once you have that set just click OK. In the article itself you're going to see this code. It starts off with iframe. And then if you've changed the width and height, it will have width equals 600, height 1000. And then within the brackets, it has the URL and then the, the closing command, so forward slash iframe. Let's go, go ahead and click Update Post. I'm going to click Preview. And you'll see now that Craigslist has been... Uh, framed within the website. Uh, if somebody wants to go in here and click housing for instance they can do so and then they still remain on your website. Now a second question I get though all the time is is clients have a spreadsheet that they've created that has some market statistics uh, for the month of February or whatnot uh, that they want to show off in a post. So let's go back to the article and I'm going to start over here and delete the current code in there. Uh, the way I recommend showing a, a table is by creating that in Google Spreadsheets. So I have this table here that I found online somewhere that has some statistics about uh, the real estate market throughout the country. And what I'm going to want to do here is in the top right corner I want to go ahead and click share and then in the drop down menu choose publish as a web page. You're going to get this pop up screen that says this document is published on the web and your document is viewable at and it gives you a URL. You're going to want to copy this URL and then go back into your website, click the iframe logo paste the URL into the field that they provide and then uh, you'll definitely want to change the dimensions for this one. Uh, the spreadsheet that I'm using as an example is pretty long. It has a lot of rows in it. So having a height of 1000 pixels is fine. In fact the spreadsheet's probably even longer than that. Uh, but if the spreadsheet's only let's say six rows you might want to change the height to maybe 200 pixels or 300 pixels. So you'll definitely want to do that, and, and in this case, I'll change it to 300 just as an example, even though the spreadsheet that I'm using is, is a lot longer than that. And then I'm going to click OK. You'll see the code here, iframe, width is 600, height is 300. I have the URL that I copied from Google Docs, and then closing iframe code. Let me go ahead and click Update Post. Once that saves, click Preview. Let me go over to this tab. And here you can see my spreadsheet is nicely uh, framed within the post. Um, because this was a longer 
spreadsheet. It does have a scroll bar so the user can scroll up and down. And this spreadsheet was also wide so the user can go back and forth here. Uh, but when you're making the spreadsheet, I always recommend uh, whatever you have more of, put in rows. So that way at least your spreadsheet's higher uh, rather than wider and, and it will fit better within the post. Uh, but this is a great way to show spreadsheets. Uh, if you have more than one sheet within the document as well, the user can click back and forth through those sheets. Um, this In this case, I only had one. so. Uh, but just nicely shows off this uh, data for the users. Um, always put some content above or below the spreadsheet, kind of explaining to the user uh, what these numbers mean uh, to them, if they're a possible buyer or seller, um, because they may not know. They may be able to understand what the numbers uh, mean or what they stand for, uh, but they may not know how that applies to them if they're a first-time buyer or you know, investor or, um, or they're looking to sell their home. So definitely add more content than just the spreadsheet itself. That also will make sure that it does well in search engines. Anyway, that's uh, how you frame a third-party website or a Google spreadsheet. If you have any questions, please email molly at realestatetomato.com. Smart.